What's up, YouTube? It's Third Battalion and Shane Lynn. We are 8 bit co op, and it's day two. The game is running better, however, my opinion on the game is starting to sway heavily towards the disappointed side of the spectrum. There's, I mean, I knew that you weren't going to be able to trade in this game, but I figured there'd be like a workaround for it. There isn't. Uh, the the way the auction house works is your stuff gets put on a queue and your stuff doesn't get sold until everything else in front of it gets sold. And I, I kind of get why they did that, but for the most part, I'm, I'm starting to get, what, disenamored? Um, yeah, it, I'm not really... And I know a lot of people are going to, you know, jump up and defend it. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving it, you know, because we did pay... 300 bucks to play this game and that's part of the reason why I want to you know give it a chance because there are some good things about the game but as a whole I'm just not I mean it's very very linear and that's something that it's some of uh, I can't remember who I was watching and they just touched upon it but they made it seem like it wasn't like such a big deal like yeah it's, it's a theme park you know but you, you it's a big world and, uh, that was their their um their whole caveat to the thing was hey it's a theme park but it's a huge world so you don't feel like and, and, and you don't feel like you're being led by the nose was what this uh emissary had said and you were very led by the nose it's like yeah well i'll show you what i did in just a second after i kill this guy i need to you know my wife too but yeah, so the area is huge, but I've got to go from one quest area to the next quest area to the next quest area. I can't just be like, hmm, I, I can go down here and explore, but it kind of forces you to, uh, to follow. follow a set path that the game has determined for you. That's all I can really say, which in a lot of games do that, but this game just feels for some reason much more hand-holding, like, hey, don't try to go out and do this, because that's not what we want you to do. I, I, I don't want this video to be an all, you know, me bashing you, because I'm try really trying not to. I like the crafting system. And if you could craft together. No, that, that's uh, something else we very different. It's crafting system, system is very lackluster. It's very lackluster. I, it's not intuitive RP. I mean, it's just. It reminds me of like a Star Wars crafting system. You just click a thing and then it makes it. It's not like. And I, I compare crafting systems to games like Vanguard because it just. Had, Vanguard had a fantastic crafting system. Um, Fallen Earth had a wonderful crafting system. You know, those games like. Because those were some of the more memorable parts of, about those games were, you know the kick-ass crafting system and you have these uh, easy mode crafting system where you just gather the mats click the button walk away from the computer and you come back and it's done which if that's the way they're going I'm not gonna you know oh what the far from me okay get over here I didn't fall on that other person I swore that other person was you but if they made it so that it was more feasible for people who play together yeah yeah, I mean you've seen all our other videos. We played together, and one of the things that we did was gym fragment. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is, but we play together. And I always, because I don't work as much as my wife, a lot of times I'll just get on and spend a day just farming, like Elder Scrolls. I there's I was a primary primary farmer. And a lot of the reason why we had all the gear and all the stuff we had is because I could just farm for four or five hours a day just because I had nothing better to do and I wasn't going to level in quests without my wife. So I farmed it, which was fun, which was fun to do. I did the same thing in Arch Age before they messed up the Ar uh, Archeum. I would just go to the beach and farm bags all day long while my wife was at work. I mean, I, I would farm, you know, several hundred bags a day. And I'm not talking about like a hundred or two hundred, I'm talking about four or five hundred bags a day. Like, and I, I was able to trade mats with my wife. Well, in this game, you can't do that. 
Uh, I thought that maybe after I saw that you couldn't trade, I was like, okay, well, maybe there's like a sale thing, or maybe if you're in a group or something, you know, um, there'd be some kind of work around it. And there isn't. It's just, hey. And they say it's to prevent gold farmers, but if, or gold sellers, but if there's a gold seller in the game and they want to be in the game, they're going to be able to sell gold. It's that simple. You're not going to be able to stop them. Yeah. But, I mean, it's running a lot better, and granted, I think it has to do with the lack of people on. There's not as many people on. Combat feels a little bit... Tough. Okay, combat feels much better now that I can actually attack. And, you know, I can... And it, combat is, is pretty fast. You see, I'm, I mean, I'm wailing on these mobs with pretty much no downtime. The cool the cooldowns for the combat are reasonable. I uh, really like how it's just... Unless you miss. You miss and you just kind of got to stand there or switch stances. I do like this switching of stances. I do feel that um, they are... Uh, it is well implemented. God damn, that's a fucking powerful spell. Or ability, as it were. But, are you killing jackals? I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can do this. No, the people in the game are like ah, jerks. I don't know how to do the emotes. But I have a, a thing where I have to do an emote and I don't, I don't know how to do it. And that doesn't help. Yeah. I haven't seen any emissaries. Yeah, that's another thing. There's a strange lack of emissaries on the game. Like people. And that was one of my, my big qualms about beta testing. When I beta tested games, one of the things, and that was a kind of a a bragging point for me with other games. I was like, yeah, I beta tested. I know how to do this stuff. So when people asked a question, I was able to answer. It kind of just made me feel, you know, a little full of myself. But I was like, yeah, I just answered the question because nobody else can answer it. You know, they had to ask me. Which, you know, that's what some games games need. Uh, what do I need here? I can't believe I need it. Okay, so jackals and swashbucklers. Okay. So do jackals and swashbucklers. So I'm just been sitting here killing But being able to have somebody who's knowledgeable to answer questions is a big deal and there's nobody on really I mean there's just in this game honestly it seems like it's a lot worse than other games as far as trolls go because people are purposely I was trolling somebody earlier I'm not gonna lie I was just but it wasn't like trolling for help he was just being a douchebag he has a douche douchey fanboy who was like oh no this is perfect and nothing is ever wrong with this game you know there's it's okay to support a game and like a game. Just don't be a fanboy like this guy. He's like, oh, this game is, you know. There's nothing wrong with it. Next best thing since sliced bread. It's like, it really, dude? But, at yeah, any rate, without the emissaries on, you know, or anybody knowledgeable, a lot of questions are not getting answered. And people, you know, there's the, oh, you can just find out your shit. Well, yeah, but in the point of the emissaries, wasn't it like to be helpful and help around the community? I, I believe there was something that had to do with the community. And the community isn't just on the forums. I mean, the majority of the community is in-game while you're playing. The people that you're running dungeons with, the people that you're questing with, the people that you're, you know, sharing the combat field with, that's, that's the community. But there, there, there's no... And it, I'm not saying, you know, that it's their sole job, but, you know, however... That was what I was under the impression that the community, the emissaries were going to be, but like people who had played the game and were experienced and knew stuff and knew how systems work. Apparently, a lot of the uh, people that were emissaries didn't even really need to get into the meat and potatoes of the game. I feel this game should have been tested. I, I think this game has, honestly, another two or three months before it's in a state where it's... Uh, like I said, they didn't test the system. They didn't test it's like really server stress. Our stress of servers, and I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, but this game has been out in other countries and blah blah blah." Yeah, it was, but it failed in those countries. And this is a completely different iteration of the game. It's not the same game that Japan has or Russia had. 
This is the American version, which is different than, you know, the aforementioned versions um, before. This isn't, you know, it's new and the systems are different. Nobody knew how this really was going to work because, I mean, what, a month ago? They were like, yeah, there's going to be a new combat system and, you know, enjoy it. And that was it. No real... Um, no. no real testing. Yeah, there was no real, you know, I, I'm, that was hard. There just wasn't any significant, in my, in my opinion, in my opinion. Oh, you and can't from, ignore people in chat. Yeah, from what I see in, in um, that I haven't they tried to ignore anybody, but just and not just really from what I've seen. And I grant, I know a lot of times there may there may have been there may have been a shitload of testing, and people were under NDA and couldn't you know and that's that may be true as well. I don't know that. That's why I I said you know from what I've seen, from my understanding, there has not been a lot of beta testing. Oh really? Oh, I hate that that ability is not a. A damaging ability that actually locks the target target to you because it's really uh, the other thing I don't like is the target if you get targeted on the mob all the way across the screen yeah. you have somebody right in front of you and it'll still target the person all the way across the screen yeah I target the close like have a like target closest enemy thing but it does it and then sometimes I'll be targeting something and it's, I know it's supposed to be like a pseudo action combat, but I'll target something right in front of me and a mob will run by, and you it'll nail, nail them off. Yeah. The combat, I, I will say, out of all the bitching that I'm doing, the combat, though, I'm really, even now that I can actually do stuff, I'm really enjoying the combat. Like the the, yeah, I like the chain mechanic. It makes me feel... It makes my character feel kind of powerful, and I like the fact. Well, I I don't like the fact that I have no heals, or I have the one heal and that's it. I really expected like paladins to get more healing. I have this. Actually, before I open my mouth, let me. Oh, uh, we're fighting. I can't do it, but I'll have to do it another time. But I actually. Well, I just wanted to check because I, it's been a while since I looked at my abilities. What does this penalize? Uh, divine punishment. Okay, it's damaging. Yeah. Okay, it's looking like these are still the same abilities that I had before. And and this is another thing. Okay, I want to. This is my heal, but I don't know. You know oh crap! Sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, like I said, I'll worry about it later. I mean, it's not something I should be doing right now, you know. Meat, and then I... There's the thing, I just... I, want, I wonder if I select meat and then not take it, will it... Do I keep missing, or... Okay, now it's starting to do that lag that I was doing yesterday. And, um... For my abilities work. Going off properly. I really want to see how this ability plays out. Okay. Huh. Okay. I mean, that's. I mean, it, Graphically, the, the abilities and everything look good. I figured out it doesn't, there's no 4K support. So that's why everything was blurry. I was trying to set it to 4K and get the highest, uh, because I think 1080 is the best that I was going to get. So that's what it is now. And it took, that took away all the blurriness. So, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not upset. It just, it just sucks when you have 4K and everything you want. When you have 4K, you want everything to be in 4K. You know, we got a 4K TV, you know, really nice one. So when we buy movies, we, if it's not 4K or come with a 4K copy, we don't, you know, we don't buy. 
But having said that, this is a lot of what we've been doing is just running around in the area doing the hunt quests because these are very um, these are very lucrative and a lot of times we're, we're just now getting in the area where we're doing quests and we can actually do them together but there's a lot of quests that will take you into like an instant area and you can't do it with a group which sucks that's why you know my wife and I play these games is to be able to play with a group and I, I, I'm just giving you my honest opinion on the game right now. Uh, I'm gonna abort that so you can sell it. You know. Um, but yeah, I mean, a part of the mechanic is that that's partially, isn't it? Okay. One of the things that um, make games like this fun for us is. Oh crap. The ability to trade and, and collect gear and you know amongst my wife and myself and that's actually a pretty big bone of contention between myself and other games when I'm playing is not being able to, you know, get the full MMO aspect of the game, you know. Cause you can't trade, you I mean that's that's a huge part of the MMO that is being taken away. Because that takes away the multiplayer, you know, granted, yeah. At that point, it just makes it a game where I'm running around in the same area where a bunch of other people are running around. And I can't really interact with them because so far, I mean, you've had a lot of solo instance areas. At 13, we were able to do our first quest, but we started, you know, we wanted to do a bunch of the, um, the monster quests or whatever, among the hunt quests. And that's why we're 15 now. We haven't done the first dungeon yet. We haven't even gotten to the first area because we just have been going through, you know, doing like all the kill quests and as we get them, the hunt quests as we get them. So. Oh. That's a bummer when you miss that ability. Is that cotton? Oh, can we take the cotton? I mean, the cotton, baby. Yeah, cotton is for crafting. But, let's see, there's one heal. That's what I wanted to do in this game. I didn't, I never really wanted to, like, play this and be, like, a melee paladin. I actually wanted to, um, just be able to sit back and heal. That's what I was doing on Albion Online. We were playing that for a little bit, but, that's really healing in that game is really because your lack of abilities it's not to me it's just not really all that engaging and it's too easy to die under the right sort which almost there's a couple of fights I've won but a majority of them have been just really one side well, that and I mean people are way geared more geared they've been playing for a year plus so they're way better game than us. But at any rate, back back to this game. Back to Bless Online. So, as I was saying, you know, the more I play it, the more I'm starting to be like, eh, was spending $150 on this game per, yeah, was it worth it? And I honestly can tell you at this particular junction right now, as I'm feeling today, this second, I gotta say no. I really gotta say no, it was not not at all worth it. Like this game I feel it just it just needed to be I couldn't even I couldn't attack a guy at all. That's the targeting thing I was talking about where I was had the circle and I just couldn't target him and now it's targeted on this guy and this guy. Anyway. I um I'm not too, I'm actually not too concerned about it at all. But, I mean, the, 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 the main thing that people had complained about, that people were worried about, was the combat. They're like, oh man, the combat is, you know, from the other games, that's why it failed, because the combat was so horrible. Well, I think the combat is, is, is fine now. You know, when it's not laggy, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty fluid. You know, it flows, and I don't feel... 
now that I have a, a better understanding of the abilities, I don't feel like I'm losing out on, uh, any of the aspects of combat. I don't feel like, okay, I get stuck and if I get stuck and can't do anything, it's because the lag makes it so I don't use an ability and then I'm just sitting like this. Like, as an example, I know I'm just, you know, but I'll press one and it won't go off or I'll miss and I'll not realize it and I'll just be pressing four thinking that one had went off and nothing. The other thing about the combat, it's not really the that's the setting, uh -huh. is that um, the only spells I really can use in an area like this are my instant spells. Because yes. they're so, as soon as you tag them off, it's yours. Mm -hmm. And then these kill quests, you have areas, you have some areas where there's a lot of mobs and they spawn pretty frequently. And then you have areas like this where like the jackals, you gotta kill these jackals. And then not a lot of jackals spawn. I do like that ability, that attack is, is kick ass. But not a lot of jackal spawn, there's like four that spawn here. And a knife of the trainee for assassin. Okay. I'm gonna bet on that one so I can. Because there's no assassins in the game. So. I don't see a point in just. Because you know, nobody's gonna buy it. Because there's a guy sitting in the game. But. A lot of times, I, if I don't activate an ability, it's, and it's not because of a miss, it's because of the lag issue. I really need, I wish I had a range damaging, like, ability, and I don't, and I gotta run up to the mobs in order to hit them, which it's a melee class, but I don't even have, like, a charge, like the warrior in the, um, This is kind of a... That's good. Cool. Yeah. And I, the other thing I like about the combat is this regular your lob die and your combo doesn't stop. Yeah. There if, is if, a cool Yeah, that bar, whenever you attack, you'll see that bar appear at a key point. You'll see this bar appear. You'll see right here going up. Once that fills up, that's like the cooldown timer for your, your attack. Once that goes, then your combo resets. So you have two or three seconds to engage a, a different target and finish up the combo before it's, you can't use it anymore. Berserker is the only one that has the uh, action combat skill. I don't know why they went with that, but they did. At any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and break this episode off now because I'm just starting to ramble. I think I'm getting really deep, but where are we? At any rate, my name is Sir Battalion. Shaylin's with me gaming today. We are 8 bit co op, and we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.